like what's going on with y'all today i'm gonna show you how to make detroit melodies for artists like estg 42 doug ice for Vizzo, and babyface ray if you're new to the channel make sure y'all hit the subscribe button we're almost at 1000 make sure y'all hit that like button we're trying to go for 30 likes make sure y'all follow me on instagram twitter and join my discord i recently just dropped a loop kit on my channel it's 23 loops in the style of estg nardo wig babyface ray moneybag yo a little baby if you didn't check i recently dropped the youtube shorts basically uh showing how i made this loop right here but i really didn't go into detail because obviously it's a minute long but one of y'all did ask for me to break it down if y'all see another youtube short and a loop that y'all want me to break down make sure y'all let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to break it down for y'all with that being said let's get right into the video all right so first off what i do is pull up a piano in contact it, it was a neuer pure piano uh, the dark preset and this is what i did first as you can tell i have an automation clip right here i haven't turned the halftime on for the first eight bars and the last eight bars i turned it off it sounds like All I did was put an EQ, cutting out the lows and then a little bit of the mids, and RC20 with vinyl 3. And all I did for this was just lower a little bit of the wobble distort, and then I turned off the noise completely. A shaper box with the reverse pattern, reverse N2 on here, just to make that little reverse at the end of it. A halftime with nothing touched, and a Valhalla vintage verb with the low cut brought up to 480 hertz, and the mix to 47 with the decay at 1.64. On the same piano, I had a piano bass, but what I did was just split it from the melody because I like I like having the bass stemmed out by itself, and this is what the bass sounds like. After I had my piano, what I did was render it out dry, and then I flipped it and reversed it into this. And then for the piano, for the reverse piano, what I did was put a portal on the Furious preset, an EQ, cutting out the lows and a little bit of the mids again, a tremulator just to give it a side chain effect, and I lowered the bus a little bit. A halftime, uh, and all I did to change was just change the mix to 75%. And then lastly, a Valhalla Vintage Verb again, increasing the low cut to 480 and the mix to 58%. Next, what I did after I had my piano foundation fully done was open up analog lab went to the night exploration preset by hze and i played out this little midi right here and then when i put it in a mixer all i did was just was just lower a little bit of low mids mids and high mids and then added a valhalla room and i didn't touch it at all after that i went back into analog lab again and i pulled out the no human left preset by 808 keys and 400 all i did was copy and paste the piano midi into the to the key and this is what it sounds like and then in the mixer track all i did was add a reverb increasing the low cut and the size Next for this Detroit bass, what I had to do was render it out because I don't have, I think it's the ultimate edition of FL Studio. Um, but all it is is just a Sawyer preset. And uh, you just go into this little tab right here, click it, go to bass, and then just go to the Just Add Distortion preset. And then this is what it sounds like. And then I don't have the MIDI, unfortunately, because it, I had to delete it. That, were, that way I could save the FOP. But this is what the bass sounds like by itself. You want to make sure, obviously, that your bass is in key. But what I like to do is I like to have a lot of fun with it and just have a lot of bounces, especially uh, bouncing between octaves. Because I feel like it just adds more rhythm to it. Next, I went into contact and pulled out this choir essentials. And it was the woman performance preset. And then I laid down this choir real quick. When I was mixing this, I decided to put an EQ, lowering a bit of the low mids, a pan man so it could go from left to right, 
and then again a Valhalla Vintage Verb increasing the low cut to 530 and the mix of 54. After that, I went into analog again and pulled out this long way lead uh, from the 44th floor. Um, and this is what it sounds like. And in the mix, all I did was just add a fruity reverb, increasing the size, I believe. And lastly, I went into analog again and pulled out this Atlas preset by Orduz. Sorry if I mispronounced her name. And then I played this little ambient key right here. And then for that, what I did was go into another EQ, lower and low mids, because I feel like it was really piercing. Um, I went into Fruity Reverb and increased the size by a lot. I went into Fruity Delay 2 and lowered the bus a little bit to 59%. Uh, put it to Ping Pong, lowered the cut to 48%, and then I raised the time up to 8. And then after all that, this is what it sounds like together. And after I liked how it sounded, what I did was just stem out each part of the sample. Every two bars, please stem out your samples. It's much more easier for when people are doing the drums. And then after that, I exported it and sent it out. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy it. If y'all did, make sure y'all hit that like button. We're trying to hit 30 likes. Uh, we're, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 1K. We just hit 900, 900 subscribers. I really appreciate y'all. Like I said, I just dropped a new loop kit on Sunday. It's 23 loops uh, in the style for Little Baby, Moneybag Yo, ESTG, and Nardo Wick. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord. And with that being said, I'm out.